Not another video about stacking silver. Not exactly. Stick around. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I truly appreciate each and every one of you that takes time out of your day to spend it with me watching these videos that I make. If you're not subscribed, do yourself a favor, go down below, click that subscribe button, click that bell, get yourself notified for any new videos I may release in the future. And don't forget, Monday nights we are live, Director of Awesome, Polly Buck, unfiltered, Come join us, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, every Monday night. Well, today I want to talk about fiat. I want to talk about a little bit of cash. Last video I did, I showed some bars that I bought. I picked up in a bulk deal, and I talked about having cash on hand for situations like that. That was, I'd have to go back and look, and I can put that video right there if you haven't watched it. I think it was like 93, almost 94 ounces I picked up. It averaged out to $25 an ounce. Spot price right now is just under $25 an ounce. No, spot price right now is $25.38. So I'm 38 cents up on each ounce if you're going off spot price. So that's a good reason to keep some cash around for your silver stacking needs. What I want to talk about today is cash to have in case something happens in your life to where you're going to need it to where you can't go and turn this stuff in there's nowhere to go there's nowhere to turn it in you need cash you hurt yourself at work there's a power outage um power outages cause outages of internet for sorts and you want to go to the gas station fill up your car fill up your propane tanks well the internet service is down what runs off the internet service nowadays is your credit card machines they're not going to take your credit card machines you're going to want to have some cash on hand because believe it or not a lot of people still don't know what an american silver eagle is and that it does have a value of one dollar here in the united states and the united states being where i'm at and a lot of people do not know what that is, but you know what they do know what it is? They, they know what a dollar bill is. They know what this stuff is. And it is going to be a great idea for you to have some of this stuff in all different denominations. Ones, fives, tens, twenties, fifties. Um, you can have hundreds, but just watch these hundreds because you don't want to be sitting on a pile of those in case of emergency yeah they're great to have but if you can't get change back and you're just handing out hundred dollar bills like they're going out of style you're going to find yourself in a tight spot um cash is king and as long as far as i can tell you cash is always going to be king in my lifetime as long as nothing major happens and even if something major does happen it's going to take years for this stuff to lose its complete value this stuff is for my savings this stuff i don't even look at i don't even pay attention to and you should treat your fiat stackable cash that you're putting away the same way as you do your silver and gold put it away put it in your safe it's not there i used to be terrible with money i would blow money like it was going out of style I was an alcoholic. I didn't care. Well, all that's changed. I'm no I'm still an alcoholic. I just choose not to drink and I choose to stack, spend, stack, spend wisely. Not everybody can do this and they ask me, "Well, what is a good amount of fiat to hold?" Well, there's no really right or wrong answer for that. What I have is a little bit of money sitting here. It's maybe $2,000, maybe $2,200, okay? That's not enough to get me through two months, three months, four months, five months, six months, a year. I suggest to anybody that asks me, you're going to want to make sure you have enough cash on hand 
to get yourself through at least a year. Now this isn't gonna happen overnight, people. This takes a long time to acquire. Not everybody can do this. Not everybody can put two, $300 away a month just to save it, let alone buy metals. It takes hard work to get to where you wanna be in life. You have to cut things out of your life that mean a lot to you to make this work. It's just not going to happen. You're just not going to open the safe and say, wow, look at all that cash stacked in there. It takes hard work. It takes dedication. Now, the question is cash or metals? And I say both. You get into a pinch, you're going to want to have this stuff on hand. You're going to want to have this stuff for the future to cash in for this stuff to enjoy what you spent years and years putting away in that safe. In the end, my plan is hopefully I never have to use that silver. Hopefully all that stuff can be handed down to my kids and they have a little bit of play money for when I'm gone. Everybody's different. Everybody has their own opinions. You have preppers. You have uh, cryptos. You have hardcore stackers. You have people who already say that this isn't worth the paper it's printed on. Well, I'm here to tell you. You can't go to the gas station with a one-ounce silver coin today and fill your tank up. What you can do is take a couple of these, go into the store, pay for your fuel, pay for your bag of chips, pay for your water, pay for your ice. You can't go into the grocery store with a kilo bar of silver, drop it on the register and say, take it out of that. Not yet, folks. Not yet. So with that, I believe that both should be stacked wisely. Cash, along with metals, should be stacked wisely in a smart manner. Never cut yourself short on things you have to pay for. You've got bills to pay for. You, you might have emergency medical, medical expenses. Kids need braces. All this stuff. But all this should never be touched for that. In case of emergency, sure, if you need it, use it. This is for when your career's over. And some stackers I'm talking to right now, you might already be retired getting into stacking and you're on a tight, tight, tight fixed budget. Don't ever leave yourself cash short. Don't get into that mix where it's you're being told that it's not worth nothing and traded in for silver and you go on JM bullion right now and Eagles are $38. That's $38 and change for one ounce spot is at $25. You buy that Eagle today, get it shipped to you, take it to your coin store, coin store. The day you get it, you're going to get two, $3 above spot. I can almost guarantee you that. Be smart in your stacking journey. That's the best advice I can give anybody. And how much, how much is enough? That's different for everybody. As always, folks, I truly appreciate your time. I hope these videos are really sinking in and making everybody think a little harder on what they're doing and where they're doing it at. As always, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks, everybody.